Hello everybody and welcome back to the official Willy G channel. Today's video is about ACDC and how they've done an underrated album. In my opinion it is an underrated album. You know, I'm not going to say it's just my opinion. It is an underrated album and it's not spoken about enough. Just had it on today, well just now, and that is Flick of the Switch. As you can tell by the shirt. I'm a big fan of this album. Big, big fan of this album. You know, if you don't know who ACDC are, then I'm not going to spend a whole five minutes talking about ACDC and who they are. You should know who they are already. But, um, yeah, this is, over, this is underrated, man. Underrated album. I love it. Absolutely love it. And um, in the 80s, you know... Uh, when you've got Brian Johnson in the picture and you've got Mutt Lang in the picture, you've done Back in Black, which is obviously their biggest selling album. And then they did For Those About to Rock. Big productions on these these two. Big productions. just And they're fantastic productions as well. They sound excellent and, you know, they are classics for their own reason. Now, the band wanted to really just go back to basics they said go back to basics doing their own thing just rock and roll in the studio by themselves just doing it by themselves and they did an album just straight off the bat and they did this flick of the switch which is raw the production is raw as fuck and um it's it's incredible like literally you've got songs like rising power you can hear the riffs are so just chunky and rasp and just really just raw, really. It's hard to describe how really just raw it is. Rising Power is an excellent song. Actually, there's not a bad song on here. That is why it is underrated. Rising Power, This House Is On Fire, Flick the title track, Flick of the Switch, Nervous Shakedown. You know, the... the um, on Nervous, Shout, Nervous Shakedown in particular, you've got Malcolm Young with the back, back vocals and he sounds incredible on them. Obviously, you've got Brian Johnson just raspy as hell on here. People say he's not great on here, but he's, I think he's great on here. I think he's great on here. Um, Landslide is another great song. These riffs as well by Angus as well. A Angus doing, obviously, the lead guitar is just... Excellent, really excellent. Guns for Hire, Deep in the Hole, Bedlam in Belgium, Badlands, Brain Shake. Jesus. I had, it, I had it on just now. And when Brain Shake was on, I was like, bloody hell. This is a cracking album. Uh, obviously, 1983, by the way. I didn't say. And this is really, really cracking. Like, look at that. The album cover, by the way. Um, by my knowledge, the album cover... Angus Young sketched it and then someone else redid it for the cover. That's what I, I've heard. I don't know if anyone knows the actual, you know. If anyone knows differently, then tell me. But yeah, I love, the, I love that it's white as well because it's just different from the rest of the album covers, you know. Obviously the track list is there, you know. As the inside, live shot of the band. This is what another thing that I like about the band. Live pictures. They're not shy from showing live pictures. There you go, here's the book. Live pictures of Brian Johnson. There you go. Oh, I'll try and turn the page. Yeah, just lots of good stuff in here, man. Really, really cool stuff. It's definitely this is definitely an album that you should have. If you're an ACDC fan and you don't have this, you're really missing out. And if you haven't heard it, then you really you really are missing out. You've got to own it. That's what I'm saying. You've got to own this, man. Excellent. Really, really good. Um, obviously, as I said, Malcolm, Angus, Brian on the vocals, Cliff Williams on the bass. You know, Cliff Williams. Phil Rudd is back on the drums as well. Well, I say back on the drums. He's on the drums. Um, yeah, I, I love this album. I really, really do. It's one of my favourites in the uh, Brian Johnson. If not, it is my favourite in the Brian Johnson era. You know, I don't know. Just, 
I don't know if they'll make another record like this again. Probably not. Because, it, you know, you, you can't get any more raw than this, can you? Just... I love that album cover. So, yeah, yeah, that's all I have to say about this album. It really is underrated. Like, uh, I mean, yeah. Excellent. 1983. Flick of the switch. If you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe to the channel. And um, I'm going to do videos like this. I might do another underrated album. You never know. Uh, yeah, subscribe if you are new. And thank you for watching. Because this is fucking ace, isn't it? Thank you. Bye.